Hey bro, peoples, this is Sonic Sand 3 2, and welcome back to the next part. Let's play Devil May Cry for the PS2. Last episode, uh, we went to hell. Trish got some plot relevance. Yeah, Trish, she's she's important now. Hooray. And now in today's episode, we're gonna be ending the game. Hooray! Starting with mission 22, legendary battle. Uh okay, I got this many. Okay, uh what could I buy? What should I buy is a better question. Okay. Well, I'm probably gonna buy one of these. Oh, wait, can I buy, uh, oh, I can buy an untouchable. <gasps> yes, okay, I'm gonna buy one of those. And then one last yellow orb. Just in case. Okay, but either way, though, so, the final mission be- Oh, not the final, ah, what am I talking about? The final battle begins. Sort of, and whoa. Okay, this is, um, this is not how I depicted hell. Very, um, Soul Calibur 2-like. I um I I don't know I don't know why it's like this and whoa that's a humongous fat statue. Let me go see it. Again I must face a Sparta. Strange fate, isn't it? Strange and ironic that it will end the same way. <laughs> Irony has favored you this time. Look there. Trish! Don't even think about it. Blink. She dies. You! Dante! Trish! No! Useless scum. Failure is one thing, but taking an odd behavior like that... What is the matter? It is time to end your pitiful life. Alright, time for Moondis Phase 1. So yeah, um, in this game, Moondis isn't an evil business tycoon and the flight controls are inverted. 
Why? Why are they inverted? Crap! Can I can I change the controls, please? I, I don't. I, I mean, I mean, inverted controls are okay, and I can't change the controls. Oh, this is not good. But yeah, so uh, what's it called? In, in um the the remake, uh, not the remake, the reboot. Uh, Moon, this was an evil business tycoon like thing. I don't even know. Ah, uh, crap! Ding it, ding it, ding it. Ah, you. I, I'm really. I. I can't control this with inverted controls, that's the thing. It's so, like, weird. Okay, crack, crack, crack. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Double trigger, yes! And, yeah, every time you get double trigger, just use it. Just use, don't even, it doesn't even matter. Double trigger does a lot of damage. Now, come on. Ah, oh, you dang it! I was doing so good. I'm button mashing the hell out of this button right now. Okay, but yeah. So basically, the main strategy for Moose is that every time he pull, uh, pulls up those uh, purple orbs, destroy them like instantly. Crap. Oh, you Unless you're like me, who gets hit by all of this. Okay, almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Yeah. Dang it! Stop! I hate you. Moonus, Moonus, please. Stop. There we go. Now begins the rape. And there we go. Okay, so for this fight, I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna use my main strategy right now just because, you know, I, I have very little health. So, <coughs> me trying to use my main strategy, that's gonna get me killed. Or, I mean, I'm gonna do some damage, but like, I'm not gonna do a lot of it. And yeah, I was gonna die either way. Okay, so I took the L for that. Wait, do I gotta do all this all over again? I kind of forgot. I please, 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 just spawn me like right at this face. Come on, please, game, please, game, please, game, please, game. Don't be like this. And thank you. Okay, main strategy for this um for this boss fight: get out your handguns. Now, uh, yeah, just either way, just get out your handguns and just start firing. Just keep and also enter double trigger. I should also mention that double trigger handguns. You should be somewhat good, and I feel like I'm doing this all wrong because I do not remember. Okay, you know what? yeah, I was doing this all wrong. Okay, don't use rebel, don't use devil arms. Uh, not, um, not sp uh, don't use Sparta. Use Alistair. Now I'm gonna uh, use my Devil Star. <coughs> oh crap! Wait, no, no, I don't. Ah, I don't want to use. Nah, Alistair. No, Alistair. Really? Yeah. Okay, either way though. Dang it! Screw it, just do this. That's that's the best thing I could say. Cause I can't use Alistair, this sucks! And oh, this is not good. I I I'm I'm doing this all wrong right now. And hey, cool green orb. Either way, though, firing the handguns is working, sort of. Screw it. Wait. Oh, no, this dude is it builds up my double trigger. Okay, perfect, 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 perfect. This is good. This is, I'm getting somewhere. Now. Die moon this time. Ah, oh, you. S Die. I should probably run. Yep, that's. Ah, uh, that was my fault. I goofed. Alright, uh, come on, come on, build double trigger. Yeah, but this is basically all you're doing for the entire fight. I mean, he isn't that hard. It's just, you know, when you're in some really bad circumstances, this fight could get, in, in a sense, pretty challenging.
Wait, what the? Oh, he just spawned one of his dragon things. Oh, you really? Moon this. What is with your beef and destroying these things? You want? No. Die, die. I will take out your dragon with my double trigger. And then I will rape you. Come on. Die, 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 die. Oh, he's almost at three quarters. Come on. And he is not at three quarters. Another devil star. Okay. This should be my last one. Hopefully. Now come on, 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 come on. And that didn't work. And uh Okay. Now one one has double trigger, and it should work. Theoretically. And wow, I'm not taking any hits. I'm kinda surprised. Come on, 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 come on. Ah, uh, dang it, was with all these other things. Screw it. Wait, what? Ah! Near die, die. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. So close, but yet so far. Okay, he's, he's almost dead. He's almost dead, though. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Come on, come on, come on. Give me a green orb, though. Come on, green orb, green orb. Please. Yes, green orb. And he is dead. Thank God. My mother risked her life for me, and now you, too. I should have saved you. I should have been the one to fill your dark soul with light! light, 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 light. <laughs> <laughs> this was my mother's. Now I'm giving it to you. My father's also here now. Rest in peace. I should have won been the one to fill your dark soul with light! <laughs> oh crap. Like the most famous line from Devil May Cry. It's just there's so much cringe in that one line. And I just love the voice actor's voice crack mid sense. It's just so funny. <laughs> okay. Anyway, now Trish is dead and Sparta's right there. Now, what we gotta do is we gotta leave. So basically, we just gotta get out of hell really fast. And then we should be good. Now, where do we go exactly? Um, question mark. <laughs> think we gotta go over here. I think. Oh wait, am I? Ah, oh, crap! We got these things. Screw it, devil trigger. Die. Come on, die already. Yeah. Wait, do I have my grenade? I don't think I have my grenade launcher equipped. Let me just equip that quickly. And whoa, okay, I just spazzed out. Grenade gun. All right, now I am, I gotta go. So, let me just kill this thing really quickly. There we go. 
Thank you, random ice demon. Now we out. How do we get out, though? Oh, wait, I think it was this. Hopefully it's this. Wait, is this the right way? Yep, this is the right way. Okay, good. Die. Die. You know what? I don't even know why I'm killing these guys. I kind of just want the red orbs, even though there's, like, no point for red orbs at this point, since the game is basically done. <coughs> oh, crap, though. Cough is coming back. Nah. Yo, seriously, die. Or Thank you. All right, now, come on. Disintegrate really, really quickly. I just want the red orbs so I can get out of here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wait. We did have to kill those guys. Oh. That's, um... That was, uh, weird. And hey! Got another trophy. Redemption. 50,000 red orbs. Woo! I think I gotta kill this one, too. You know what? Let me just get into uh, Ifrit. Now, this should definitely kill this thing a lot more quicker. Come on. Ugh. Die, die. Wow, that was fast. Holy crap. Oh, wait. Oh, no. There's more. Ah, dang it. Okay, I think this is, this is the portal, right? Yep, this is the portal. All right, come on. We're almost out, guys. We are almost out. Where do I go again? Oh, wait, yeah, over here. Come on. Yeah. Control and camera. Nope. Really? There we go. Come on, come on. We're almost there. We're almost there, guys. Yeah, and we escaped. I think we're done with the mission. Hopefully. Are we done? Yep, we're done. Mission 23, Mother's Guide. Escape Mallet Island before classes. Oh, this place is called Mallet Island. Okay, wait, though. How do I escape Mallet Island? Mallet Island. Mallet Island. Mallet Island. Just what's it called? Um, go to the, the place where the, the plane was, and you should be good. Now, crap, we're still under time. So, I believe this is the way to go. Don't quote me on this, though. Yeah, wait, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it, screw it. Yeah. It's gotta go fast, gotta go fast, gotta go fast. Oh, we do gotta kill. Dang, we gotta kill these guys. Crap, crap. <coughs> Dang it, I like. Yeah. Okay, they're dead. Good, 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 good. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on! Just give me the red orbs. Yes! Now let's go. We're almost there, I think. I think this I think just through this door and we should be there. Okay, let me take the red orbs. And biplane. Yep, here we go. And oh shoot, no! So close! Time for the final, uh, the official final fight with Moondis. Basically, dodge around, shoot him, devil trigger, you know the drill. This, yeah, this fight really, it really isn't that hard. Like, honestly, this is, it's a, it's a joke of a final fight. That's the best thing I could honestly say. Like, look at this, he's almost dead. And apparently my, um, my attacks aren't working anymore. Oh, wait, no, never mind, they're working. And, uh, the, the, yay! What the hell are you, Moondis? Look at this thing! Okay. 
Okay, feed your power and Trish's power into your guns, Ebony and Ivory. That's then use your double trigger and blast a big shot into Mundus. So exactly, Trish, how are you alive? That's what I want to know because last time I last time I remember, I'm pretty sure you um, I'm pretty sure you got stabbed by a beam of light. But you know, either way though, since you know Trish is alive some way somehow, um, is this it? Yeah. Oh, we did. I think. Jackpot. Goodbye. And when you do come back, give my regards to my son, will ya? My playing time! Woo! And it's inverted controls again! Son of a bitch! But yeah, back to Trish being alive. I don't know how the hell she's alive. I'm just gonna say ass pull and plot armor. But you know what? Whatever. Ouch! So yeah, all we're doing right now is just flying out of um, uh, Mallet Island because that's apparently what this place is called. I still had no idea this place is called Mallet Island. So all we're doing is just flying out, shooting the stalactites, stalagmites, I don't even know what to call them. And we're done. Ouch! <coughs> oh crap! And oh, there's the exit. And hooray, we're out. Let's not forget, though, the Underworld's evil is still alive. They will someday return. There's no need to worry, right? Because the world has the legendary Dark Knight Dante and his sidekick. Never cry. Yes. Okay, great. Where's the place? We'll be right there. This one has the password. Sounds heavy. Okay, let's get it over with in ten minutes. Can't let a single one of those suckers live. Five minutes. <laughs> More than enough. 
And that is it for Devil May Cry. So, what do I think of this game? Well, I can't really be too hard on this game just because it's one of the first games in the genre. So, of course, there wasn't really a framework for that, for like, you know, the stylish combat we have today. But for what it is, Devil May Cry is a damn good game. You know, from the very stylish moves to the awesome cutscenes to the uh, h a hilarious voice acting. Uh, <laughs> very hilarious. I, I really do love Devil May Cry. You know, this game really isn't for everyone, especially with, you know, how the, the combat formula has evolved since um, this game has came out. This game is very archaic with the design be just because, you know, there wasn't a framework for the combat. So, of course, the combat will be stiff at times. The, um, the stylish combat we have today with uh, games like Devil May Cry 4 or Bayonetta, the, the, um, there really is no, f there, there was no framework for the combat. So, I can't knock the, I can't knock the game too hard for that. But other than, other than that, this game really is fun. Even though the jumping could be very, very stiff and the um, the camera could be a dick sometimes, this game is really good. I really do recommend all you guys who um, who want a really good stylish game to see where the uh, where the genre came from, and just you know a good game in general. Just to play this game. You get the Devil May Cry collection for really cheap now, and I'm pretty sure hunting down the original copy for the PS2 really isn't that bad. And plus, um, the, uh, the collection is for the PS3 and um, 360. I think for PC too. So there really is no reason for you not to play this game. Overall, I like it. It does have its archaic design choices, but still, I, I really, I really do enjoy. I did enjoy this game. I enjoyed playing it. I enjoyed sequels. Two, eh, three, yeah, four, yeah. The reboot. Then the combat's good. Don't like the characters, and I really hate myself for liking the reboot back in the past. But yeah, so this is why people don't like the reboot, just because this game is such a great game. I hope you guys enjoy this let's play. If you guys like what you see, like, subscribe. Do you want? I should probably start working on that summer LP. So. Um, peace out, peoples, brr, and uh, play the game. That's that's best. That's the only thing I can say. So, bye, bye, guys.